spread code. And then share screen. Okay, so can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, you got it. Then I'll change it to slide show. Okay, so three the today's topic, actually the poll, I will let you know in advance that I'm going to show something for from your yeah, solution. So yeah, so maybe in, in later time, maybe somebody asks about the solution you can ask, give an answer. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> we'll be happy to, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so okay, so I'm going to start for the today's webinar. And then thanks for attending this. Here is a uh, afternoon, maybe somebody in the morning in the time. So um, today's topic is about the, the enterprise or industrial metaverse application and then business model development. So maybe somebody you know already me about it that I'm I'm, a, I'm doing some consulting and the solution development. And usually the, the the for the solution development actually the, I'm integrating some existing solution and then for the potential application and then and, and then the uh, like a customize for that. So usually the, the I work with my partners for and then also consulting or so I work with other partners about their some driving some new ways of the methodology. And mostly uh most recent my interest in metaverse, especially that I'm interested in metaverse for the enterprise wise and then in combined with the digital twins. And also my another interest is ESD, sustainability digital transformation. It's also uh, recently uh, we got a very good result about uh, how how you do the ESD sustainability integrated with the digital transformations. Okay, so um, I, I did this this kind of the webinar from the last year, and then and this is uh, the first time of this year the webinar. And then I, I I contact and interact with many like a metaverse related expert through this webinar, and then and then this will be the something that I show you new thing that recently we developed, and every information I I, I put in the recording or presentation in, in this side. Okay, so uh, today I'm gonna going to talk about uh, three sections here so you can see that in agenda the metaverse applications and i'm going to talk about the recent trend in the what what is mean by the metaverse revolution imperatives the metaverse enterprise industry application what is going in here and then the present and future of the metaverse so like I'm, I'm going to show you the you know one page of the what will be and what should be in metaverse and, and the second part will be the metaverse enterprise platform is especially for the metaverse, I, I call it metaverse industry 4.0. So you can imagine it is an industry application of the metaverse. And then I, I have a several like a, a what, what kind of platform it is. And then use cases is actually the through the, the existing solutions and platforms. And then finally, I'm going to talk about the completely new work that I, I endeavor for the maybe the for a long time uh, starting from the early uh, last year and then I'm, I'm going to talk about how you actually the, the get the business opportunity in the coming metaverse space and then how actually systematically develop the metaverse business model okay so first i'm going to talk about uh, metaverse application first so so you know that when i start this webinar series uh, the last year actually that there are not many cases actually the the tricky in the media is usually the mainstream media like a new york times or wall street journals or some some other like a newsweek that about the metaverse and then only after the actually that you may heard about the the mark Zuckerberg at uh, Facebook, actually, the announced uh, that he want to change his company name is Matter, 
and then he wanna be like uh, he wanna be like a leader in the metaverse industry, and then he imagined that uh, in you know five to ten years, actually the metaverse device will be the like a smartphone, in like in in today, and everybody will be use that uh, metaverse device. I'm not sure what kind of metaverse device will be looks like, but somebody talk about so like a like a, for example for some extended reality like a AR VR device or some other like a better device we don't know yet but some other uh, device will replace smartphone and then when everybody will be in, in the using the, the metaverse everyday life within five to ten years and after that actually the, there were a lot of the critics about whether metaverse is uh, near or not it can be implemented or not and debate and an expectation and then now that I think that uh, is realistic now because uh, many companies and uh, many media create uh, talk about the metaverse now. It's a completely different situation within only six months. So it's, it's changing every day. So it's so fast to changing. And then I, I expect it will be more accelerate this year. So that's why that I, I'm, I'm trying to, to integrate what I have learned and you know, what I experience in the metaverse as early adopter, and then and then try to integrate them what we would expected in in the near future. And here is the one actually the treated in the the media that, for example, Epic Game. Epic Game is uh, one of the key player in metaverse. As usually the they they developing engine for build a metaverse space. Usually the 3D engine. Usually, the it use usually used in the game, but it can be extended to the whatever that you can you can build up in the virtual space, like a three D space. Can people environment and things can be put it together? So, so that's uh, one of the two, like a like a metaverse, like a space develop platform builder, and then CEO of that uh, talk about that it can be multi trillion dollar industry so and then it's, it's like a, in in a like a, for example in the news newsweek so usually you can think about newsweek is just, just for the like a, not professional further this is for the every everybody like the normal people and then and talk about the like a, what with the america like a greatest disruptor and then in technology and then and then they pick like a one one as a disruptor as a like a, a CEO of the Roblox and Roblox is another like a, it's, it is a metaverse game platform but it's very famous and and the only like adopted by many like new generation and everybody every key is in the worldwide actually the, to participate in in the Roblox and then and then another thing that you can think of is like a Microsoft and then you may heard about this the Microsoft and the metaverse uh, recently talk about the, their dream about the metaverse and then and then you you heard about the they, they developing metaverse device like uh, for example hologram uh, holo, uh hololens and then and then also they combine with other like their like a cloud platform and other solution to provide a metaverse solution and platform and then especially the recently they tried acquire the famous like a uh, like a uh, of game company and then then acquire it so they they spend like a billion dollars about this acquirement and the day they announced that they're going to be the active in in the metaverse business and then you've made about already talk about the, the Facebook uh, like a uh, recent announced that they they want to uh, involve in the like uh, for example the supercomputer can be can be used in the metaverse uh, platform development and then also the the you can think about like a, in the CBS news Wall Street news and talk about the why people are existed about the selling land in the metaverse space in in the like nft or is coming in blockchain and the web3 and talk about it and the seen it talk about nvidia any in a like inter like a semiconductor device to to develop they're, they're supporting this this kind of the metaverse computing and then also like uh, so some kind of like a new like a interface for the metaverse so so everybody talk about 
nearly big tech and then many pioneers in high tech talk about that they wanna uh, going to be in the metaverse now. Okay, so especially for the uh, the this is also a very recent trend because when I started talk about that enterprise industry wise application quite a quite a month ago actually that there are no or maybe no application to the directions I insist that uh, other than like a game or the like for example the media the selling land like a, like a, like a targeting the general consumers like a B2C there should be the the much opportunity in the B2B and, and then for the industry and enterprise wise application and then after that actually just a few months I insist that we should we should focus on that area there are actually the actual like uh, the project uh, related to the enterprise this wise application is coming out and then it's now boom every talk a recent ces has a lot of the like a uh, showcase about uh, their intention to to do some in applying the, the enterprise wise uh, the industry wise something so for example the boeing and the, they wanted to build this next airplane in the metaverse so in the metaverse space and the machines, the robot, and then people, engineers can gather together to develop next generation airframe. And then also like in the CNBC, Walmart, even the retail, and then they're preparing the metaverse. And then also in the CES, at the Samsung, and they talk about that they, they are going to be like their home appliance, then the smart home device will be in the metaverse. And then they talk about that they launch metaverse tours so uh, the virtual real uh, space uh, integrated to whether you see in the in the product in your real space and then you can also see the same product in the virtual space and they are integrate so actually the, if you if you for example you, if you look at the, some good good stuff in in the in the virtual space and then you you want to be some customized and then and let them know about the, your customization preference and then actually you can deliver the whatever your preference in real space so there will be the 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 link between the real and virtual shop and then also like in healthcare like uh, for example recently there were a lot of the trend like for example the metaverse uh the healthcare training so training the like uh, for example surgical procedures so is a take lot of effort and then and then educating the the future doctors is a with the cost free and then they they want to be the the educated through the metaverse and you can have a, like a digital twin human and then you can surgery over the digital humans and then and then they they similar to the the actual humans that they reveal everything that you require for the medical things so that that's a trend and then uh, recently i heard that there's some some project that is going on actually the to build the completely the the human like data twins for the medical purpose and also recently the Shande automotive and then and then they uh, actually they acquired the Boston Dynamics and they they revealed that they plan to like a, a linking robot into metaverse so they call like a metaverse uh, mobility and then and then they combining robot and then and then automotive and then and butcher space to, to provide like a smart factory for the like a like they build up their their like automobiles and also for example that if you if you if you in in their uh, like a showroom in the virtual space and then they can choose something and then they can customize like a, for example in the manufacturing factory the like a link and then and then for example like a, a, they can use some some like uh, build up the 3D like a design technology can be built up to the whatever you choose in the virtual space can be realized in the real space in the factory. That kind of concept is coming out. And then and then in the New York Times talk about the, like for example in the passion like a spare is uh, the metaverse where and then they talk about it. So. You, you can see that uh, the every industry actually the now like a, like now interesting that they actually are starting their their uh, metaverse project uh, for their enterprise wise industry wise application. So uh, this is one actually um, this is one actually the based on my long time in high tech. I I, I sold all nearly all high tech from the telecom IT software and recently digital like AI 
uh, blockchain IoT, and then uh, and the, like the XR devices and uh, digital twin. So I, I just summarize in you know, one page that what is uh, what is looks like as is uh, metaverse and what it be in in the to be in in the future maybe in the near future and then maybe ten years later. So I summarize everything that I from my expert expertise in knowledge in in this area. So basically, uh, what what is a metaverse? So I uh, there are many people can define in a different way, but this is my definition that in the it, it is a physical and virtual or converged world. So this is the one generally the everybody everybody consensus about the, the metaverse is the physical and the virtual in the converged space. But for me, the, actually, the, the, what's the difference? Because uh, this kind of the physical and then virtual space convergence also talk about whether you're, you're familiar with in, in the like uh, ubiquitous computing, maybe in the like uh, IoT is a part of the ubiquitous computing in, in, in academic area about 20 years ago, then they talk about also this convergence. And then you may heard about in like industry 4.0, like a fourth generation, uh, fourth revolution, industry revolution. They talk about this like a cyber physical system as a commodity system. But I, I want to differentiate what what is the difference between this, even with this kind of the physical and converged virtual composite world, that what is different from the metaverse from other space is the augmented by each other. What what I mean is like a virtual space is augmented by the real space and real space augmented by the virtual space that I'm going to explain what is mean by that. So actually the one augmentation is that this is a simple augmentation. So this is the, maybe the first step you, you build up the metaverse space. Uh, the, some examples are like a Roblox type, like a game space, media space. And this is kind of the, the build up 3D space, meta virtual space. So everything is virtual. So you can have a game characters and then some digital humans, but it's, it's not nothing to do with the real space and the like uh, space buildings and the land that you want to sell something here. So everything is uh, everything is uh, virtual, but you can you can think about like uh, even if a virtual, but they are like a special means that the three D space, so they are they are somewhat different. And then and then what it happen is actually the real space is to join here. For example, real space for the human me as join here as an avatar. So it's like a digital me avatar. And then you may know about it. there are many ways to represent uh, avatar. The simple thing is to just to represent your appearance. And then also like, uh, for example, recent trend is like, uh, there are a lot of the technology going on in, in, in the AI. So they wanna mimic the human-like AI, general intelligence. So they can wanna uh, like mimic human intelligence and also they wanna mimic human emotional intelligence. So if, if that happened actually, the little bit like a digital human, like our avatar with like a, like a cyborg in the digital space, and then more like representing me, uh, like like for example, intelligence and activities, and then my humanity, my emotion. They can be they can mean as as technology develop more and more. But anyways, that the this space is augmented by real space by by joining real people in here. So you can think about like a famous movie, like uh, for example, the Ready Player One is that you join the Wear device. So why you need the device? Because you want join, not only the join, simply join, you wanna be part of it. So you wanna be immersive. You wanna be the realistic part of this virtual space. So you feel that you are in this space. So you cannot differentiate between you, whether you are in the virtual space or real space. There's the, so that kind of technology you can develop the virtual reality technology, or mixed reality, virtual reality, augmented, the core extended reality. And also like other like a digital sense and where device can give you the real sense of your your like immersive in the virtual space. So this space is augmented by this real space, and then the real things, real people 
con uh, like interact with is virtual space. So that's mean what I mean by the real space augmented virtual space. This is a metaverse, one type of metaverse space. Uh, this is the one mainstream that in the, is usually the like a B2, B2C space that the consumers and then normal people users to get together and for example, Roblox, they, they create their own game characters, they create their own games and then they, they, they trade, they transact, they sell or buy the, this, the, their creative things and through this, for example, using the NFT or other like uh, some mechanism we call like a virtual economic system. And then, and then also, for example, the like in the land sale that you have a voucher space and then be arrested and then you sell this space using using some uh, like a voucher uh, economic system like nft or the other like a uh, cryptocurrency is something like that so this is uh the one one example that i i call it like a like a virtual space augmented by the real space so this is a virtual uh, everything is virtual but except some augmented by the real space and then, and then also you can think about like, for example, the Facebook talk about is like uh, not just for the like a game or a media. Actually, people get together and collaborate, have a meeting, as if they were they were in the same place. So, so immersive like uh, experience, a uh, sense of a presence, or you can have it. So this is one one example. And also in the industry wise that you can you can think of about like for example, this is a very good example that the Nissan Automotive the provide their the metaverse like a vision. So in the future that you have you have a, your car, actually you drive you through your 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 the physical space and, and actually the, your partner will be joined as a, their metaverse and then you feel that you are you are together and then and then feel like that you you work you travel together even if the one part actually the in the remote space and also in the even you are in the remote space you feel that you you drive you drive with with like a, your partner actually the actually exists in the real space so this is the one example that makes the real and, and virtual space. In this case, real space is augmented by the virtual space. So virtual things coming in here and the augment. So one, maybe the one example is augmented reality, but is isn't more than actually there is, a, is, in this case, actually the, you are the, like a bi-directional interaction. So not only the year augment in your your space actually that you have a remote your space can be like uh, augments through the, your butter thing in here so this is the one good example that, that why this is a different from the traditional like for example augment reality spot and then and then traditionally you can think about like uh, digital twins at the you know about digital twin is uh digital representation of some things process of something you may know about the digital twins and then, and then industry-wise, they use it for a while, but the, in the metaverse space, actually, the what the difference is, the metaverse will be, will be the include this digital twin as a part of the metaverse space. So, so this digital twin is a part of your your metaverse space. So, this near things is a medium that actually the integrate. And then and the link your dear dear space things to the virtual space and then there is a feedback loop so actually the whatever happened in the virtual space space can be feedback into the real space and then it, it can be changed in whatever the effect to the real space so this is one like a uh, fundamental things that you you should have in mind that there is a, like a feedback loop through the digital twin, and then whatever you can do in the virtual space can be feedback into your space that they they started to like uh, affecting the real space. So that is one way. And then recently there was a, a lot of trial that actually that not only uh, represent you as a digital digital avatar. And there is also there is for example the Shandy Automotive will talk about like whatever you do in the virtual space can be can be represented by robot, like a robotics. So your surrogate robot, and then it can be represented. It is one of the uh, famous movies, actually. The whatever in the future that your your experience in real space is is like a, in surrogate robot can do in the indirect experience. So you're sitting in your home, and then you have where the metaverse like interface device, and then you control 
your uh, your logo and then you feel experience interacting in the real space with your logo so this will be the integrate with the virtual space so this is one trend with in the future the real space and virtual space integrate and they can they can communicate they can interact they, they change each other through this metaverse connection and then you can think about recent the trend is like mat matrix four is a is a good example that the they the, whatever the keywords whatever is uh, whether they they will talk about whether am i in real space or virtual space right confusion right no differentiation so this will be the maybe the maybe future but anyway this is a concept so so future space in the like a virtual space in a physical space integrate but actually the they augment each other they, they integrate so they they i call in here here and then then the most important thing is that actually the can create economic value why because of the virtual space has no space time resource limitation we call it dematerialization so we can we can use utilize this dematerialization in in the virtual space and then and then being put to the real space and then we can create a completely new value economic value that that was not possible without this metaverse so uh there are many metaverse applications i only talk about everywhere like with office home building and the factory and the store and the mobility and the I mean smart city metaverse is is, is possible okay so i I did everything that interests. Oh, finally, that this should be supported by like uh, IT or the digital infrastructure. So you need uh, some kind of AI, blockchain, IoT, and big data technology. Also, you need uh, like a uh, communication like five is sixty or the other type of the networking, like a uh, telecommunication technology or innovation is needed for this kind of the thing. Okay, this is one uh, just I, I for you the reference. I'm gonna go into detail about it, but the, there is a rumor that uh, Apple is going to the launch the Metaverse XR device in a in a maybe I'm not sure when. Somebody talk about this year, maybe the next year. But actually, the uh, we can imagine. I'm also a pattern to me, so I, I did a lot of the intensive like a pattern analysis for the like uh, what kind of technology will be coming what kind of product will be coming uh, with like uh, uh, and then I, I did like uh, for example what what is expected for the if the Apple develop and then then and produce some kind of the XR device like the Apple glass or something like that and then and then the design with the modular configuration and then then something like uh, you're like a uh, day focus on latinos they look at your eyes and then and then tracking and control by the eyes and then dynamic focusing and then and then eye tracking control and then and then they will be mixed reality and enhanced reality and and then two special radio sometimes so so this this will be the expectation through the pattern analysis that uh, what whatever it looks like then including the features in the future the apple metaverse xr device okay so i did the first part and then i'm going to start my next part to, to i specifically talk about uh, what kind of the industrial like application is available now i'm not talking about the future i'm going to talk about the available now okay so this is one general idea that uh what kind of the platform we need to develop to fully capture this kind of industrial like enterprise-wide application i call it metaverse enterprise platform i just uh, have a conceptual conceptual stage now so i didn't i didn't make any like a detailed implementation but i i i, I did a pattern application for this general idea that uh so um so basically this uh the physical enterprise and but butcher enterprise uh, is a mix of the deer and the butcher and then they are integrate and then and then this uh detailed twin is a physical enterprise will be in uh, like a integrate for example that the, you have a in the physical space an operating system all kind of business activities and business model and then you like for example resources it can be had their corresponding digital part and that they can be integrated so this is one idea that 
in, in the future, some way to represent in your business wise, uh, like your company. And then, and then I, I imagine that uh, the, the metaverse enterprise, metaverse enterprise being that built up by this metaverse enterprise platform of your specific company. And then it will be the business model. And then, and then I call internet digital twin. So I'm, I'm, I'm talking about internet digital twin is, uh, is uh, different from the internet of things. The internet of things is you know, internet of the connected real space things. And I'm talking about internet of digital twin is the connected of the internet of things plus the internet of virtual things. So digital twin is a concept that you integrate the, the connection through the, your real space thing and the virtual space thing and the data link. So this is one I, I coined as a new concept and they have a very, very nice, uh, like a business potential that I explain later. And then was I limit, uh, let me talk about like a demotorization. Can be, you can exploit your demotorization. And then, and then this is the concept actually the why you wanna do some, something that the physical space and real space uh, uh, connected. And then whatever you do something in the uh, in in the real uh, virtual space can be, for example, you can do some some kind of like a decision making uh, process in for improving your like uh, for example your process optimization or the productivity increase or something like that. And then it can be reflected in the real space. And then and then also like you can you can be like a, in the virtual office and then you have a virtual worker first. Through the, your like extended reality, like uh, for the for example, your the you participate collaborate the digital human for creating genuine and trustworthy digital interactions, and then also maybe the you can apply the gamification to keep the workforce engaged and drive the productivity. So this is a general concept. I'm still developing for the detail implementation now. And then, and then as you can, you need to know about some digital twins. So uh, this is what industrial digital twins, so like product process digital twin, also you need a digital human, right? And then also you need like a digital twin of organization, maybe you know well about this concept. And then also the, the AI, blockchain, IoT, whatever the, you have done in the real space, can be applied to in the virtual space. So, so in the future, actually, the, whatever you have a computing resource, whatever your algorithm is, it is exists in, in even in the virtual space, and you can utilize in, in the virtual space. So here is one. Uh, here is one is uh, I just to give you the how much actually the realistic that we can implement this kind of like a metaverse enterprise and look at the what kind of the metaverse technology the, the develop. And then this is a Gartner's uh, chart about the, what kind of the technology will be available in the in your future for the enterprise. Why? And then I am mapping the what kind of technology can be can be used my my idea in the metaverse. This is one example that actually the whatever you do in in the real space. For example, you you can you can apply your like a deep learning to like a, for example automatic uh, catch of the your like defect like a product through the, your uh, manufacturing process in the smart factory. And then you can put in your, your like a real space uh, manufacturing process to virtual space. We call it virtual like a smart factory. And then, and then even the expert or the, whether you are the R&D people or the, some of the people can join through this, your avatar in the metaverse space. And then they can be interact with your botcher manufacturing system and then they utilizing AI system in in the virtual space can test and simulate whatever the like best optimized process for your manufacturing and then you can apply it to the real space uh, through the, this data twin like a uh, feedback loop and then this is another one in in the like uh, in for example this is a trial in some European uh, company and then actually the, they they using some of the like a uh, uh, metaverse so like a uh, uh, space build up like a uh, platform like uh, here and then and then they build up the the voucher shops tour and then they can interact with your not only the uh, for example there's the you can customers can join as their avatar and then they actually they enjoy whatever they're looking at and then they are integrated with the real space and then 
so company wise they whatever they they use the whatever the behavior the pattern of the 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 customers that join is for the, their avatar can be used uh, for their marketing purpose analysis or so the people can enjoy any convenience that whatever they they want to buy it and then they can be they can be look at the something in the voucher can be can be for example that you can you can look at it in the real space or if you order something that they directly the deliver to you in the real space something like that this is one idea that recently for example amazon that want to try this kind of the like a detail store and then they also like a link with your like inventory management and then you know, like uh, the work with uh, like augmented reality or other virtual reality can can manage your space in the metaverse and and this is the one our like business partner so, so the poll is uh, is a uh, uh, Mariana's uh, business development uh, director so he, he is in now so if you have a question about it this is a fantastic solution that I, the beauty of this solution is that that they whatever the, the travel or whatever it is that the, like a, you want this type of model what, what I mean is that you need to gather data and then you need to build up something based on your data and then you know that in the in the data in the data capturing the data processing and then and then everything related to like uh, data processing data management is headache and then and then this solution actually the link with your existing like a digital system it system like a erp or sscm whatever and then gather uh, data together and then depending on the, your purpose they they analyze data using ai and then and provide a meaningful like a data plus something that the data model that can be built of your digital twins for example the supply chain data twins so you can integrate and then and then depending on your like uh, the situation in the location or the time or the some way to actually the data characteristic they can build the adaptive data twins depending on the like the nature of the, your data and then you want to be built up some in the characteristic of your business and then this is uh, one example that they can they can be used in the virtual like uh, for example they link with your like a logistic system and plus your warehouse and then your your whatever your supply chain partners and they, they can they can give you the the holistic view through the metaverse and then they can be integrated with your your supply chain system and logistic system and then can be like give you like a, for example risk management and optimization and other type of the like uh, activities so like optimization or the reduced the, the the like increase efficiency reduce some risk and then other like product you can you can use in the over your supply chain management and this is another one actually that in the factory wise you can have a like a 3d factory wise digital twin and integrate with your uh, metaverse space and then you can have a like a advanced management through the in like interaction between your digital twin of the your industrial system plus the the some of the people like a uh, the the operate this this system here and then in the same way you can for example recently the like a climate change risk is a hot issue and then how every every company now looking at the decarbonization to 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 transit to the like natural in the carbon emission and then this is one actually that you can you can apply this like a 3d space in in the for example smartphone space and then and integrate with your metaverse space to control your like a uh, use of electricity use of water or other like for environmental issues you can have like efficiencies and then other other like uh, some some way to you have a convenience to have a value to the like a potential uh, customer through this uh, like a 3d metaverse smart home and this is one actually the this is one actually I I, I tried is the I tried to develop uh, some show that what what how you can do like for example this is one I tried like a, I I use like a, a, for example Microsoft that they have a build of their Azure computing like a cloud computing system provide a lot of the solution uh, built in so I use their their uh, for example their digital twin solution to build up like for example like a, you have like a wind tunnel in the renewable energy and then you can integrate with their like a uh, polar lens and then this is the 
like for example, the interaction through the your virtual space of real space through the, this mixed reality device. And then I go one step further now through the, you can put in here in the metaverse space. So your virtual space will be, this is another virtual space, right? It's a virtual digital twin. And then put in, in your virtual metaverse space. And then people like, for example, the operator, engineer, customer, everyone, they gather together in all over the world and then communicate and then collaborate and operate this like a window term, right? for example. So this is the one and kind of thing that you can think of in industry wise. You can apply digital twin and then uh, like a remote, like workforce and remote collaboration in the metaverse space. And then this is another one you can apply like in the city wise and put you can put everything in the build up in the city wise infrastructure in here like a smart one smart factory everything like a smart building smart mobility point in here and then and then further that actually that you can include this smart city data twin to the metaverse like collaboration space and the data twin you know, like a design construction and many want to be joining here to to like a life cycle management of this your cities so this will be the concept can be in the in the coming in the future like the integrating metaverse for the the build up and then operating your future city okay this is an epic game so the this is one example of actually what kind of the technology is actually is we, we need to like a, they need to like a unit they need to like automatically measure your space mine like a gi or something like that and then this is one thing that the epic games is a game company build up the smart space like a metaverse metaverse space uh, building platform provider and then they they're looking at the, like uh, the link with the, the real space that they they acquire a company to to measure your space like a lighter or something that they measure your real space mapping and then automatically provide the real space information to integrate your virtual space okay so i did for the second part and then i have a third part that okay so um uh, what i'm talking about is metaverse uh business model development for the, this is one completely new thing that i i develop so uh i had to think about that uh, I, I just uh, doubt that whether because uh, uh, whether this kind of showcase case so like a this uh, business model and, this, uh, and then business opportunity capture will be required because the steer is very early stage and then I I have confirmed that because uh, recently there are a lot of the the media and the company expressed that uh, this is the realest thing and then and then many people also contact me that they express their interest in the metaverse. So I decided to like a more like a systemic way to develop your metaverse technology and, and then business. So this is one actually the, the in, maybe some technology maybe not complete yet, but uh, in the business concept you can utilize and then uh, as far as uh, the technology support you can build up based on this methodology. So uh, this is uh, just, just uh, you know, the traditionally the Business model means that the value proposition, right? So what kind of thing you want to offer to the, your client, right? Customers, like right? for example, that kind of the, the, uh, the value to the customer will be the need, a want of customer. Like for example, like a, what kind of solution they want to serve and then job to be done. What kind of things you want, they want to serve. So for example, that this is very important concept recently integrate with the digital like a business model i'm going to talk about briefly in later that for example that uh in the digital space what what you can do is like for example especially for the manufacturing industry that uh, if you had a, for example you had a, some product manufacturer and then in the future the only way to monetize your business model is to provide a good product to to solve something in here but the sort of something is is somewhat different now is for example that the Hyundai what recently announced that they want to be like a future metaverse mobility company so mobility means that for example uber is something like that the product is not nothing not anymore in the future is to to own 
right? Is it, it can be like a different ways actually that you you solve your problem. For example, that the reason you buy your car is not you want to own a car. Maybe some some enthusiasm about the antique car. They actually they want to buy a car, but usually the everybody most of people want to buy because they want to move somewhere. Mobility. They want a mobility, not the car. So, so concept-wise, it then and then the way to actually deliver that kind of the needs will be the based on this technology. They can be changed dramatic changing to providing this better proposition. This is the same idea that I I have. A, there are many different ways actually deliver this better proposition to contrast to the like a traditional business or better proposition. This one I'm I'm going to talk about later. And operating model also will be how you deliver your your create value, like uh, for example resources or activities or like a process workflow and partners everything you you have it and the value creation like a product or service innovation something like that. And it, this concept will be different in the metaverse space. And then also monetize how you monetize your capture to to generate the revenue or something like that. So based on this basic idea that, so how, why you need a business model innovation because of a trend change, technology trend, every environment change and customer change. So you need to innovate your business model. And then here is a concept that uh, how you can actually the innovate. So for example, value product innovation means to offer a new type of value and operating model innovation means deliver the creative value through the innovative use of the resources or value adding activities. And then value creation innovation means creating needed solutions through the product and service innovation for new customer needs and want. And then also there is the different pricing model and different way to monetize it. And then here is one thing, whenever I, I try to value uh, like a business model proposition that I, I use a famous like book, Russian strategy, the value innovation to means that the up of your buyer value, customer value, but cost down. So this is a value. Base. This is very, very difficult con like uh, to do in actual implement. At the same time, value cost down. So, so actually the traditional way was to in the blue ocean strategy because blue ocean strategy is uh, this book is written 10 years ago so they they even not the all stages of digital and all never talk about the metaverse so they they don't have a, that kind of tool so the only way actually they they doing like a blue ocean through this value innovation is trade-off so their strategy was a trade-off trade-off means that the, they increase something they increase some 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 characteristics, some component actually that can use in, in the competition in the market. So red, that means that they focus on something and then and then eliminate or reduce something. They they call like a, a value canvas model that they, they put into you like a like arrangement of you like a business component that can be used in the in the competition and then looking at the year like a, achieve the goal like how you reduce cost innovate uh, increase the value. And then what they choose was actually the reduce something and increase the others, right? So it's a trade-off. But uh, in the digital and then uh, like a metaverse more, and you don't need to be like a trader. There will be the, another tool actually to build up this uh, value innovation through this, uh, the utilizing and, and then leveraging the, the metaverse concept I'm going to explain later. And then this is one, one good example for the, uh, what kind of opportunity that you can have even you you can think about the digital business model that uh this is one you maybe i recommend to, to read it and then here is one thing i, I like is that the, they will change your positioning in the value chain i i i i, I want to buy this one because they they explain how you how, how you reach in in the using the digital technology but i i think that the, if you use uh, and uh, like uh for example metaverse you can you can be easier more because, because, for example, that even you are the supplier that you want to go this way, this way as a prep and company, only way is actually that you have a direct contact, you have a direct link with you, your end user, right? So in the, in the value chain, you can be the end point of your value chain. You can be possible because of the utilizing everything that what I call like a, 
uh, metaverse platform and the metaverse like uh, the user experience factors that I'm going to explain. So this is very attractive that even even this author uh, maybe no, don't know about the metaverse potential, but uh, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do, like uh, uh, using this kind of uh, traditional model using digital in the business, and then I'm including more factors in the, in the metaverse, and I'm going to develop a new scheme, new framework, actually, that you can change in your, like, uh, your ecosystem, even your value chain positioning. And then, and then, for example, the, what kind of like a metaverse user, user experience completely differences from you from other traditional business model is immersive reality experience, like using extra device. So immersive reality means that uh, how much you can be like deeply, fully immersive is a, is a metaverse technology. But anyway, some ways you, you, can, you can provide like a, the current XR device for the immersive reality experience. And then enhance emotional, like a fantasy and the sensation and sense of presence is this is one develop and then and the provided by the, for example, metaverse like a uh, space, like a Roblox and other metaverse space provide this kind of like enhanced emotional experience. And then active reality interaction, influencing experience. And, and then I talk about like a new surrogates, like a digital robotic avatar, and then either give you like a completely different way to like interact influencing through this uh, new mechanism, digital and then robotic avatars. And then also real to virtual, virtual real cross-connected experience. This is one, for example, that if you have a metaverse and then you, for example, in, you have a, like a, for example, some of the, your like a, a smartphone plus you are like, for example, you're, you're like a audio, or some other like appliance, and then and then and then I, I already told you that uh, that kind of all kind of their links can their things can be into the virtual space, and then they connected through this internet of uh, digital twins, and then whatever you do to this your appliance in their space will be reflected in the virtual. Space. For example, that you you wanna like for example play in your in your your real, for example, you have a, a real speaker, your time in the real space, you have a very good uh, your speaker, and then you want to deliver your, your, your capability to your speaker to your virtual space, and you want to join the game or the other metaverse space, and then you want to utilizing your real space, uh, your personal uh, speakers, and then and then their corresponding digital twin speaker will be implemented in, in your space, in the virtual space, and you can play in the virtual space, this kind of thing. And then also like, for example, that you have like office, and then you, you want to do some like using the office uh, like appliance, for example, that for example, you, you want to send a fax, and then, and then you have a fax machine in the virtual space in your virtual office. And actually, they link to the your actual fax machine in your physical space in office through this internet of digital twin connection. And then, and then you 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 walk in the virtual office, and then you want to send something dear fax to to someone. And then actually, you can either uh, your like a party actually the link to your virtual space, and then you can you can send it directly, or they are offline, and then you can send it through your you your you send your uh, facts through your virtual facts, but actually the, it can be linked to your actual facts and then they will send your facts in the real space. This is concept that like a real to virtual, virtual to real cross -connect, connected experience that uh, actually that this is new type of experience that they can provide. And then collaboration, I already explained like uh, demotorization. So like uh, unlimited resources use, even your computer can be in the real space. And then telepresence, so whatever well you have, and no space and time limitation. And then creative community participation. Oh, this is one thing that like uh, sometimes I, I explain like, uh, like a uh, metaverse economic system. So whatever you participate in, in your like a virtual space and that you can be a creator, for example, co-creation. One example is a uh, Roblox that you can create your own game. But the other way you can you can do it is actually that you participate. I already explained in the smart city like a living room. 
So you are the uh, normal citizen, and the, you join as a virtual like a living room, like a metaverse virtual, and you provide the idea, and then work with uh, like your peers in in the metaverse space, and then co-create whatever you improve improvement over your city. It's the same thing, and then for example, that you you are in the like for example, some your your uh your for example your automobile. Automobile company have uh, like, uh, for example, is uh, whether it's a Toyota, next, a GA, whatever they have uh, like uh, their showroom, and then you have seen your uh, your car, and then you wanna be like a like fine tuning, customizing for you. Somebody actually the, they wanna tuning some their like a uh, different options or something like that, a new design concept, and then it'll be uh, linked to your actually the in the virtual space to the real space. And then they link you into like a designers and then engineers in the factory and then and then and the business unit of that company actually then the, you participate as a co-creator of the your your car and then can be contribute and then by doing that actually that you can you can earn money either like a virtual or the real, real thing or something like that and then and then also this is a this is one actually that you can experience even even the participating in the metaverse you can actually the monetize your 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 experience and then and then is massive sharing engagement it, this is really the some bottleneck because uh, the how many people actually can join and then actually the all the metaverse space should be like interoperable and then you can you can like a uh, Changing your position from this this metaverse to the other metaverse and in the same avatars or whatever, but but this will be the uh, in the future. But anyway, and then by doing actually the mass and then sharing engagement, it will be you provide like a very augmented network effect. It's a completely different network effect you can you can utilize. And then, and then so that actually the, I I just formulate like a, what kind of metaverse opportunities I like. I'm 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 an engineer and I'm more a technical guy, so I'm I'm going to make something that form like a metaverse use case times like a metaverse use cases, and then and then multiplication of the you can pick and choose of the options based on your like uh, what kind of the application you want to apply and what kind of the user like metaverse user experience you can you can employ. And then, and then, so you can develop your business model through these concepts. So, for example, metaverse value proposition means that they're using this metaverse user experience. So, offer this new type of experience through metaverse channels. For, for example, the, this channel is different from the traditional channel because they are on off integration and target. For example, the, the generation G segmentation can be possible. And the metaverse space building platform that I explained, like a 3D metaverse platform using, like a, for example, Epic Games, uh, the Unreal Engine or the Unity Engine or something like that, or other engine platforms. And then metaverse operating model that uh, this metaverse enterprise platform I, a platform I explained you that does you reforming and defining business operation process. And the metaverse value creation that you can use this kind of, I already explained, like co-creation through the virtual to real feedback loop. So people can participate actually in the creation of value through this value creation. And then value capture is a, you can have a, like a for example, different like a way of the monetize using metaverse economic system. So metaverse economic system that I, a uh, real economic system plus virtual economic system. So this virtual economic system, I explain you like uh, you can create something and, and then transact and the commerce through the using, for example, the virtual currencies or the NFT or something like that. And then they will combine with the real economic system in even the payment system. And this is what actually the, I'm, I'm going to do in, in the early next next month. Uh, next month, I'm going to another webinar about this important topic. Actually, how actually can can have this kind of the, like a metaverse economic system through this like a metaverse data twin NFT uh, DeFi convergence. So if you're interested, you can join this webinar. Okay, so this is the final one. The um. I, I summarized the, what kind of the 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 my uh, like a framework the metaverse business model framework can be a system wise view, so I, I call it metaverse is my system architecture, and then you, it, I will have experience that your input is a metaverse user experience and a metaverse use cases and you can you can combination of the options 
and then put into your uh, metaverse uh, uh, business model. And then, and then you, you learn about the metaverse value position, and then it is supported by the metaverse space building platform and the metaverse value creation. And then you can use a metaverse co-creation platform. And then, and then metaverse operating model and then enterprise platform can support this. And the metaverse value capture the new way of the, you have a, like a pricing and then other ways of the capture your values through this metaverse economic system. So completely different ways to developing your and implementing, and then you got the goal through your your like a targeted metaverse business opportunities through this this business model development concept. Okay, so that's it. That that's one that I uh, want to talk about today. Okay, so uh, we have uh, like uh, if you want, you can you can have uh, like a free discussion or Q and A, whatever. And then you, if you have uh, some uh, have a question about the uh, about the, the this kind of the fantastic solution that I provide you, and then you can you can talk about that. Okay, I will start my sharing. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, Alex, uh, good presentation. Um, you know, really quick, you know, I just want to get the thoughts of all the folks here, but, you know, uh, yeah, the applications mostly, you know, I think in the next uh, 12 to 24 months, probably will be more focused, I believe, in, in the educational purpose, because education definitely is, is going to be a, a big impact on this, right, on how you fix a CNC machine or how you basically uh, work on software and, and, you know, and then so on and so on, right? So. Uh, you're talking about more practical um, experiences that, that are going to be there, uh, which will require, uh, you know, I mean, if you're especially working in a, in, in, a, um, in a plant or something which will allow you to wear glasses and so on. So I see a lot more of what you're talking about where, you know, it will be augmented uh, AR and VR need to start like really coming closer together where we are seeing a lot more of the VR now. And the AR is still to catch up in, in a multiple, um, uh, you know, variations. I, I believe so, but it's just my thought, right? You know, into what we are yeah, trying to accomplish. Uh, that's right, because you know that uh, we have a like a dramatic improvement, like innovation, even in AR, VR, and and mixed reality. But still, yeah, it's not complete. Right? But you can imagine like a smartphone is a, a, a first, even before the F lecture, there, there was several, for example, the Nokia have a smartphone, right? And then, and then you can think about the, how they evolve, right? So, so I think that the, this the current state of AR, VR, I, I call it the XR device, is a current state of art is not, not there yet, right? Because so we know why, because bulky. And then there are many like computing power is limited, and then and then especially the uncomfortable to wear, and many things we need to develop. But there, but there, you know, I, I provide many options actually. The, you get the the metaverse experience. So I I I, I don't much. Yeah, if you have a, like a metaverse XR device, it will be much better. But uh, I my uh, I provide the option actually. The the conceptual of this metaverse for the for me is that the XR device is needed, but not essential, right? That's the one. So in, in the, until that we have a complete, like, a, like, a, like a, for example, the uh, whatever market over, whatever the, the, the end users, like uh, no more people can, can buy the, the XR device and like a smartphone, it will take a time. But uh, during the time, actually, we can provide some essence of the whatever the metaverse can can people experience even in the you can use in the business, and then and then and then under certain time that maybe we can we can naturally can and then adopt this kind of the the future XR device. So so XR device is one uh, at this time as I I I like your expression is education state right because uh, and then and then provide like experience to the people that what one might look like in the, they are fully grown in, in technology and, and the business. But so, but we can, we can, we can, we can provide like, for example, the other using like game education and other ways so you can, they can have a experience to some way what is, what is mean by the metaverse experience. So let's just see, but, uh, but anyway, because uh, you, you can see that a, a lot of trial is coming out this year 
And then, and then you know that because uh, uh, you know that I, I haven't started more than thirty years in IT and digital space. And then I, I I've seen the, a lot of the new technologies coming out, and then they die, and then they revive, and then and then successfully in the market. And, and then the metaverse is everybody talk about metaverse is maybe twenty years like a, like a, in the novel like a Snow White, and then and then talk about uh, ten years ago there was a, and then recently there was a advanced in the technology and then coming out. But anyway, uh, for me, that the, the what I call the metaverse two point zero, it means the current state of the vision will be it will be the early stage, and then people uh, like uh, now try to think of a series as a business case now. So not yet actually to prove any business case in the metaverse, but we need to try it. Who knows? In the ten years later, we can we can uh, we can see that oh, this was a metaverse, right? Like like we talk about smartphone victory that we never imagined before, right? I agree. Yeah. Uh, Alex, uh, you, you touch already on, uh, and maybe we didn't use the term, but second life. Uh, and uh, the, the question I have, it's actually a second lie had, had its own currency. I think was called the Linden dollar or something similar to that. Mm -hmm. So no verse, meta or <laughs> real or uh, doesn't run without an economic cycle and you touched on it, but I don't think you describe any uh, any way on, on how the economy will run in the metaverse, the meta economy, if you want. Yeah, metaverse, uh, metaverse, uh, you know, the economic system, that means that you need some trading, right? You need to, you need to transact, exchange something value, right? And then, for example, the buyer, seller, and then you need some mechanism to, to make measure value, it's a curse, right? And then, and then the interaction should be by direction, right? For example, like a sec second line, you have a, like a butcher coin, okay, that's a, that's all one type of the, the measure of the value, but they are not the currency because they're not using in, in the trade or, or any, any transaction to sell by in the, in the both way. So that's not the complete economic system, right? So what I mean is- Right, right. Was, was connected to the US dollar, right? Was called actually- Right, right. The Linden dollar. You have an NFT in the metaverse, you sell it, and then you have a, you, you have a value in the virtual space, but you but can- monetize in the actual space, like a Bitcoin, right? Right, but now now we have cryptocurrencies, which are um, subject, and that's a completely different topic, but um, as opposed to the time of, uh, of uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the previous version, now we can, we can use uh, cryptocurrencies. Is there a crypto or a family of cryptocurrencies that you know that are used currently in metaverse? Because you can trade properties oh, and yeah. so on, yeah, virtual yeah. properties. Roblox, Roblox, they has their own cryptocurrency, but they mm -hmm. can only trade within the metaverse of Roblox. So mm -hmm. it's a closed economic system, right? So so it it should be, it, if you wanna be like open economic system, they should be trade in, in other metaverse, even in the real space, right? That's what I, I wanna be like, how you design that one. I'm still have a, I have a, some conceptual, for example, first, you need to interoperability of, among the, this metaverse, for example, Roblox and then decentralized land or whatever, and then you have a form the metaverse, and then you should be on interoperable, at least for the, like, for example, your avatar, right? Mm -hmm. You use one avatar in one metaverse and use different avatar in a different avatar in, in the metaverse, it will be a problem, right? So you want to be seeing this connector to throw you, right? First, you set up at least yourself, should be like roaming over the whole metaverse space first. And then there should be like, for example, there should be some mechanism. They will, you, for example, in, in the cryptocurrency, they, they call like a atomic trend, uh, uh, what the atomic transaction? I, I forgot about the name. Uh, atomic. Uh, what I mean is like a, they have a different. For example, Ethereum, like a Bitcoin, other kind of the cryptocurrencies have a different value, right? And then how you can sure. they, they they all trade. They venture in dollars, right? Some of them are stable coins and so on. Right. So it's a whole ecosystem 
which is and my question is not how these two ecosystems work together more i think you answer already is the question of uh are there uh, um, cyber, you know cyber coins used and you said yes but there are in closed circuit it's not it's not an open circuit yeah and then I, I think about the, I'm, I'm, my idea is tend more, right? For example, the current concept is that you have a something in the close in the virtual space, in the virtual metaverse space. For example, you sell your like a game item in Roblox. And then you sell mm -hmm. and you will receive by the cryptocurrency of Roblox. And actually, the, how you realize these two cash, real life cash, right? You need some cashing mechanism through something, right? You need some banking system to that, right? And then I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm just thinking about whether is there any better way, direct connect. I'm not sure this is a, a my trend. For example, recently there are many, many government not tried like a digital currencies, central bank digital currency. You may heard about the China, even I heard about the United States. And then, and then I, I think about that. You have a real space money, like a central bank money, and the digital twin of that money can be trade in the metaverse. I'm not sure whether it's correct or not, but I want to extend that this kind of like it, it, it can be like a more increased economic systems. It should be like a, like extend from the purely virtual to the real space. And then, and then here in the steel, there is a gap. So something happened in the virtual space. You need some mechanism, banking system to, to realize your, your virtual space currency. And why not that your, your actual space currency actually used in the virtual space as digital twin currency, right? <laughs> That's when I, I tried to set up the concept. I'm not sure, uh, but this is one concept that I, I want to raise an issue in this community that we can think about further about the, this economic system to actually you can have a powerful, it should be linked metaverse, virtual space to real space. And then currency will be the very, very important role in, in the building of this, the economic system. Okay. Yeah, and Manuel, I can tell you, right, there is um, there is a crypto called as Cocktail Bar, C-O-C, right, which is in the metaverse, right? And so you, literally go you wear your uh your vr headset you go there and you actually you know uh play in real coins and 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 you you trade and and so on and so on so and it's live and uh you know i mean people there's quite a lot of volume moving back and forth on that crypto already but it, it's it's taken the meta uh, the the whole concept of the metaverse and crypto and gaming you know everything in a mix in one and um it, it, it's uh i see a lot of activity on that right i i also read about a lot of activities of large companies including for instance fashion designers real estate companies buying uh buying uh, real estate if you want buying opening shops and so on so clearly and, and thank you sam i i i uh, agree I, I didn't know about uh, about this particular case uh i like the name of the coin however uh yeah. but i uh, i didn't know about this particular case but clearly there is cash flowing in there is there, there are real dollars flowing into metaverse so that uh, transactions have to be real, right? They have to cost and, and somehow priced according to market forces at the end. Yeah, and you know what's happening also is that um, a lot of the big casino uh, folks are getting into this because naturally because of the pandemic, people are not able to travel, people are not able to touch it. So how real can you get while, while you're doing this? And this has become a, a, a huge trend where people will uh, trade in crypto, uh, basically on, on things that everybody loves to do, it seems is gambling, right? You know, so mm -hmm. how you join the two together, and that's really where the metaverse really brings this this concept together. Now, so somehow in the back of my mind, I hear the word uh, taxman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Sam, and, and thank you, Alex. Is, is there any you can you can join as a free discussion whatever you want to talk about metaverse
You know, I think, I mean, um, the, uh, this is Sam, I just comment on that because, we, you know, we're doing a lot of research on this as an enterprise, right, as to how metaverse will play a role in the enterprise, right? Um, you know, what are some of the things that you're talking about and so on and so on. And we still need to, and uh, we work on like uh, uh, systems which are uh, data centers and so on and so on. So we see that playing a big role where we can actually enter the data center, turn, uh, maybe move a, a physical rack, uh, you know, by commands, um, or change dynamics, change configurations on the cloud, right? You know, with the whole thing, right? Without really an understanding the dynamics of what will happen, right? You know, as uh, uh, to actually solve problems in uh, uh, proactive monitoring, predictive uh, maintenance, you know, and so on and so on. So we see this as a revolution that will that will uh, affect our customers. Um, the, the smart city use cases that you're talking about, you know, as you're well aware, uh, South Korea has doubled down on that and they're trying to do something in 2030 uh, where the mayor announced something that he will make that metaverse and so on and so on. So I think uh, that's that's a great, uh, you know, uh, the, the Korea, Japan probably once again will probably take a lead in a lot of this, right? Um, leading with gaming, but taking more into the enterprise, right? So, and uh, the rest of the world will catch up, I believe, right? As uh, as these countries, which are a lot more uh, open to these technologies, will take over. That's just some views. You know, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's, it's... Yeah. You know, like actually, the Manuel and me actually, the we have another project. We wanna like a, like a twin digital transformation. What I mean is like we recently there was an environmental issue like climate change, and you mentioned about like uh, for example like a data center. The data center to spend a lot of the electricity and water, and then so actually the 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 you know that a lot of the trial, for example, the Google data center applying AI to optimize their like spending of their electricity, and then and then further you talk about the uh, like in the metaverse space, your complete system of the your digital twin of the your cloud computing system, and then you have a more optimized process, and then you maybe like a more better way to manage the, your space. Additionally, you can you can reduce a lot of like carbon for free. And then and then we actually recently developed like ES digital transformation framework. Actually, the, you combine like a digital transformation and then ES sustainability to like activity like implementing your company wise and then within system wise and actually the, you can you can do the get the goal of the through the ESG star transformation actually the not only to the you have a contribution to your society and environment but also actually the you like a sustainable business that you can keep keep grow through the through this kind of the dual transition and then and then and then from the last year actually though what i i show you a lot of the, my example actually the targeting that contribute this kind of the esd sustainability digital transformation at the same time and then the metaverse will be the very very fantastic tool or uh, the platform that actually can can include this as a the esd digital transformation actually i i did several webinar and i'm thinking about that um, i'm going to have a more opportunity and then, and then there are the fantastic thing will happen. Like right? is a, I, I found a very good tool about to, to like a completely different way to you do your business. You do your for your your planet and you for your people. Yeah, I agree. No, but as we sum this up, right, Alex and, and the team, I, I think, you know, whether it's uh, smart cities or banking, you know, or what have you, right, I mean, I think every industry is, is uh, entering this and trying to understand really what role they can play and is the price of uh, um, the, the headsets and come down, I think, you know, uh, it, it'll, you know, I, I think starting from education in school where, you know, my kid basically has now, like, almost is 100% dependent on her laptop and her iPad, you know, I don't, you know, I think by 2030, uh, every student will, will be required to take a headset to school because, you know, think about learning geography or, or so being in, in the actual, you know, 1920s learning about history or being in the future learning about, you know, how, how uh, numbers move in math or what have you, right? So we really think that this is, 
uh, uh, the most revolutionary technology that's going to change. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know, actually, the, the there are simple version that can you can try the ghetto town. Have you tried a ghetto town? I said recently there are many many people that they they press their lecture the education in the ghetto town. It's a two D, but very simple. So so the it's it's kind of the general people can can join. The ghetto town is they they own like a lecture room. They set up their desk, a screen, everything in the butcher, and then they they press their like for example like a Zoom like meeting or a Zoom Zoom like interface. Actually, that you you have an education like like we did like webinar or lecture in in the ghetto town. So I I think that the, there may be the more platform educational platform will be coming out in the near future that. I think we it, we need need it like for example the the utility of the like experience of the general people is very important to this metaverse concept, and then and then and then I expected the, the education is uh, education was a training is a, a very essential for for developing this uh, metaverse ecosystem. Okay, so we are almost time. Is there anyone that want to talk about further? Okay, so then I want to call it today. And then thank you for attending for today's webinar. And then I, I wish you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yep. Bye -bye. Okay, everybody. Take care.